Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. Hi, so in this video, we are going to solve this Power Query challenge, but we are going to use Excel formula, I mean Lambda, to do this challenge. And for that, we are going to generate two Lambda. So it's saying that count prime number between given lower and upper limits. So prime number are those which can be divided only by one and that number itself and by no other number. Now we are going to write a lambda to check if a given number is a prime number or not. And for that here we have the logic. So basically what we need to do, we need to iterate through all number from two to square root n and for every number we need to check that if we divide that number n number with that particular i numbers so i'm going to download this practice file i'll put the link for this problem in the description okay so to download a copy so at first we are going to check if a given number is prime number or not and for that i'm going to write a lambda so i'm just checking on number let's say 10 or 20 or something like that so this is given number so this is my given number for which i am going to check if it's a prime number or not now i'm going to check is prime now let's say even prime so that is basically if this is equals to 2 so 2 is only the prime even prime number so that's why i'm checking that one now i'm checking okay is even number so i can say is even and then this so if it's even number then it will not be a prime number so no other even number is prime number except 2. Now I'm checking that, okay, if these are not the case, like if it's not first even prime number or if it's not a easy even number, then I need to check from 2 to square root of n. So square root, so that is going to be my square root of this particular number now sequence so list iterator that is going to be sequence 3 started 3 row will be so okay i need to round this round down number of digit zero digit so three okay now i know the start and end so sequence so start will be three end will be three start three plus one so that is row column is one Stud is going to be 3, step is going to 2. So that is only 3. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now, I just need to check result that is false. Array is going to be my this one. And then lambda. If that is going to be mod of given number divisor is going to be my a it's equals to zero then false else so this is going to be So let's consider that 
this is going to be a prime number so this is going to be my final fellow okay now it's saying true like somewhere it's fine that it's so true so final result is going to be if this true then that is going to be my result if it is not that case then if this is true then this is going to be my result if that is not the case then this is my case let's see so this final result so this 10 is not a prime number so let's try with different number 2 is my prime number 3 is it's saying value error so let's check this so square root is 1 so here we have the error so 1 minus 3 plus 1 okay let's try with different number 4 not a prime number 5 is a prime number let's see 21 false so it seems that this is working fine this is 23 is a prime number that's correct so this is my final result for the prime number check so I'm going to generate a lambda out of this. Okay, so this is my generated lambda to check if a number is prime number. So I can just copy this and create a new lambda is prime. And this is my reference to. So this is my prime number checker now we need to find all the prime number between these two number right so we can see okay sequence and then this is my column will be one start is going to be this number and this step is one so 10 11 and 45 up to now we can just check is prime for this one only so you can see this is false now I can just to map this guy here and then lambda win number and then I can say okay actually. even number so this is false 11 is a prime number true and so on now some product what is this so 10 so that's the count so in this section list of numbers and in this section this is going to be is prime check and this is prime count now I'm going to generate another lambda for this one this guy here so this is my generated lambda to gen you know count all the prime number between two number so I'm going to save this one as another lambda so that is prime number between two number so let's count of So that is this one now I can just invoke 
prime number between counter prime number between two number so lower limit is this one upper limit is this one so this is 10 let's read it down 10 21 so that's all for this video if you have any suggestion or question feel free to comment and if you like my video hit the subscribe button for upcoming videos thank you